Jesus Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Welcome to this Easter weekday Eucharistic celebration with us here at St. Charles Borromeo Catholic Church in Livermore, California. I am Father Kwame, the presiding celebrant. One way to live as Easter people is to practice justice in every part of our lives. May this Eucharist give us the courage to bring divine justice to others. I invite you now to take a moment to get ready to meet our risen Christ in word and sacrament. Let us now worship. I will praise you, O Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my King. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, we thank our God for gathering us once again for the purpose of nourishment so that we can put into practice the word, the rituals, and the enactments that we have when we gather here, that we can go out and live, actually live, the Christian life and the Mass and the Word of God that we hear. So we celebrate this liturgy of Wednesday in the fourth week of Easter. And we bring the following intentions uh, to pray and to communicate with our God. First of all, we join uh, our business manager, Bob Lindbergh, who celebrates his birthday. So happy birthday, Bob. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you for who you are in our midst and your ministry. We continue to pray for God's healing for the sick, including Marisa Rokium, who is critically ill with COVID-19, and also for our former pastor associate, Karen Miller, and also that uh, for Karen, all those who are taking care of Karen and making her comfortable, may God be with Karen in this time of her life. We pray for the continual repose of the soul of Mel Nelson, for whom this Mass is being offered. Now, I know all of us have intentions of our own. Let us bring them all together and enter into this conversation, this communication with our Lord, by first of all asking for forgiveness for our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, you are the life of the faithful. You are the glory of the humble blessed, blessedness of the just. You listen kindly to the prayers of those who call upon you, that they, that they who thirst for what you generously promise may always have their fill of your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now there were in the church of Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manaen, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogue. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. O oh God, God, let, let all, all the nations, nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O oh God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O oh God, God, let, let all, all the nations, nations praise you. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him, for I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him, the word that I spoke. It will condemn him on the last day, because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and to speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Today's readings uh, simply put the emphasis or emphasize the necessary link between our listening 
and our preaching and our words and everything that we do when we gather, our rituals. Uh, remember that ritual itself is not complete until, until it is practiced in real life, in real life. So when we come together, uh, uh, that necessary link between what we do in rituals, because uh, what we do is rituals, that that must match, that must follow us to real life situation when we get out there, when we get out, we get into the complexities of life. When we have to really take decisions, make decisions, when we really have to deal with our own, when we really have to deal with uh, troubled news about our health, for instance, from the doctor, when we, when we face these situations there, how we deal, how we handle it, uh, that's when you actually live the Christian life. That is when the Mass completes. You live the Mass. There's one song that says, uh, the Mass is ended, go in peace. We take the Mass to where people are. Okay. The Mass is not ended until it materializes in real life when you go out. So we come here to do things in order to pump us up, to strengthen us, in order to encourage us. But it's not over yet. The Mass is, is our word and our promise. Our promise that when we get out there and something happens in our lives, in our marriage life, in our relationship with other people, our children, uh, in our relationship with our government, in our relationship with anything that is going on out there, and including the joyful situations as well. How we celebrate joy in our lives, that also has to be done, remember last time we said, has to be done in a Christian way. There's a Christian way of doing everything. So joy, even how to celebrate success, also there's a Christian way of doing it. Uh, uh, and there's a Christian way of living through adversity and things like that. But, but what we do here is, is, is a ritual. The ritual is like a practice. The ritual is like, is like encouragement. The ritual is like acquiring the tools that we need. But then, like we said, the tools are not given to us just to go and fancy and, and no. They are given to us in order to tackle real life situations. And, and, so, and so Jesus puts great emphasis on the words. The words that I speak must be, must, must be obeyed, must be lived, must be put into concrete practice. So we have to remember that we put uh, 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 a connection between word and sacrament we put a connection between theory and practice. Because when we come here, we pronounce, I believe in God, I believe in this, we bow, we do, we do all kinds of things. But all of that are meant to, to, to help us so that when we go out, we don't forget. We do it well so that when we go out, we don't forget. Because that is where we actually practice uh, spirituality. Over here, we do a lot of religion, but then spirituality is what, what is inside of you. What moves you? The motto, uh, the running motto that is in you that will propel you to tackle life situations. The rituals and actual life. The mission, and uh, that's what the mass is called. The mis mass is mission. Uh, the word mass comes from the word misa which means mission, which means sent. Yeah, you're sent. Yeah. So that's what, the, that's what the name given to what we do here, what we are going to receive right now. We are, mis we are commissioned to go. We are sent to go and then use the mass to tackle problems out there. So someone says, if you go out there and someone steps on your last nerve, that is when you celebrate the Mass. <laughs> you show the person that I have, just, I have just eaten the body of Christ. 
That's when you begin. Oh, yeah. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I'm going to show you that I have Jesus in me. And I'm going to show you what love really means. It takes that courage to practice what we profess. And all of us are included. We all fall short many times to put into practice what we do in a ritual. But Jesus encourages us one more time. We heard that about the early Christians. They actually went into action. They didn't just listen. They didn't just experience the resurrection and sat in Jerusalem. No, they went to Rome. They went to Cyprus. They went to all the places, Paul and Barnabas, going all over the place. They actually went to the dungeons and proclaimed God's word and lived it in people's lives. Let us pray for that grace for ourselves and for our world. Amen. Amen. Let us stand and offer these prayers together with all our prayers. For Bob Lindbergh, our business manager, and all those who celebrate their birthdays and anniversaries, we pray to the Lord. For God's healing blessings and presence for all those who are sick, including Marisa Roquim and Karen Miller, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of all the faithful departed, especially Mel Nelson, for whom we offer today's Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions we hold dear in our hearts, that God may grant all of them according to God's will, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O Lord, we ask that we may cooperate with your Spirit to bring about the answers to the prayers we have just made, both in words and in our minds. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth, the work of our hands, it will become our spiritual food. Blessed, Blessed be, be God. God By the mystery of this water and wine, May we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbles himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, the work of our hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God. God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us. I'm pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash our iniquity, cleanse us of our sins. My dear friends, let us continue to pray that our sacrifice and our prayers may be acceptable to the Almighty God. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, the sacrifice of your hands, hands for, for the, the praise and glory of God's name, for our, our good, good and good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Jesus Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with all the angels sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our beloved, your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, by the power of the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For on the night he was betrayed, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May Christ make, us, make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of the whole world. Be pleased to confirm in faith, charity, and justice your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Pope Francis, with Michael, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the religious, 
the lay leaders and entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family this morning, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom all good things come. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your followers, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another the sign of peace. Peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Sisters and brothers, my friends, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to share in this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray the spiritual prayer of communion so all of us, including those watching us, we unite ourselves with Jesus. Dear Jesus, I believe, I believe that you suffered, died, and rose, and rose from, from death, death to save us. I believe, I believe that you are fully present in the bread that is blessed and broken and the wine that is blessed and poured out in the sacrament of the Eucharist. Thank you for making me a part of you the mystical body of Christ, the Church. Renew in me your sacrificial presence and let me be united with you at this moment so that in all my thoughts, words, and actions, I may represent you and love others as you love me. Amen.
I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Hallelujah. Let us conclude our prayer. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways of life to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. We want to give a shout out to Bob and sing happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bob. Happy birthday to you. God bless you. Yes. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve God and one another. Thanks be to God. Good morning. <laughs>